we're back again. Woo! Episode 98. Coming Killing at it. you. I know it. We really got to come up with something for the 100th episode. Keeps uh, creeping up on us. I don't know what to do. Hey, if anybody has suggestions, the dads at grapplingdads.com. Oh, I'm sure Nathan will say something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I'm solving all the rest of your issues, guys. Let me finish this one. We're coming up on 100. I'm running out of ideas. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. We but I, just, I, I want an epic one for 100, though. This is a Grappling Dads podcast. I'm Paul. That's Kip. Thought we I'd just went AM radio. Throw that out there for oh, yeah, everybody. Yeah, yeah. If you were lost or new to the show, hello. Okay, this tip is um, odd. Um, it's like a twofer. So I was talking to Croiler about um, competitions, and I was assuming that people that did well in competitions were good at jujitsu. And he's like, "No, nah, that's seems, not really so." That seems like a solid thought, right? <laughs> well, it, it did, you know. And I, you know, to be fair, I was thinking of black belt competitors, and I didn't say that. Oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I. A little bit, I think, maybe got misconstrued, even though the black belts do fall in line with that somewhat, just, you know, not as much as, like, the white, blue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, like, but, you have a competition black belt right. rather than a... But my main question was, when did strength and athleticism start to, like, weasel its way into jujitsu, which was meant for the smaller, weaker guy? It was see, invented for that. Yeah, so now you see everybody in these competitions, and they all look like Odonis. Yo! It's like, <laughs> Jesus, it looks like Zeus! And, you know, why, why did that and, become a thing? So you see a ton of frantic movement. Yeah, it's nothing. You know what I mean? Nothing's it's, tight. It's all dynamic and... Dynamic and, and it's not smooth. Right. You know, and I'm sure those uh, some of those guys can be smooth, but yeah, we'll talk about it more later. Yeah. But yeah, he's actually got really good points. He he brings up first about uh, jujitsu rules and competition and why it kind of why it bled into that. But anyway, it's a really good pro oh, okay. tip. But first, go Kip, go. All right, we got Top Mount Apparel. Check them out, topmountapparel.com. We are waiting on our box. Thank you, Al. By this time this airs, we might have it. I don't know. <laughs> we, we may have it. Whoops. We're uh, getting a little ahead. We're uh, getting cool stuff. Kip's going to be in Florida, so um, we're getting ahead on these. Ah, we are uh, uh, actually recording this on a Friday. Friday. Which is weird for us. Yeah. Wife wasn't happy about that. Sorry. But uh, anyways, uh, had to do this for Top Mount Apparel. Uh, they expect things from us. <laughs> um, so I guess we should reciprocate something um, other than just, you know, love. Just right. love. Th- but, uh, thanks. <laughs> thanks a lot for the shirts. <laughs> Yay! But they got some really cool stuff coming out. Um, we're going to post pictures, like I said last week, mm. um, just to show you which ones you can't have. I like it. Yeah, it makes me like the shirts more. <laughs> <laughs> right. For a brief moment in time, we have something that you can't have. Yeah, suck it. Right. There I, is one that uh, I ordered, um, the red, like uh, it says top mount. It's kind of yeah. like the upside. Dude, I got yep. that one for us. Nice. I like that one. And, that was uh, actually yeah. my favorite. Yeah. yeah, same here. I liked it yeah. a lot. Well, it's red, so fuck. <laughs> that's all that's all it takes for you. Yeah, I have like 80. My wife's <laughs> like, you know you wear two colors. I'm like, well, one's more of a shade. <laughs> well, my, my two colors are black and gray, so. Well, yeah, and that's me too. I'm gray yeah. for the most part. I don't really like black shirts as much. That's why you see a lot. If you look and you're like, well, Kip doesn't wear a lot of top mount stuff. Well, I would. I just don't wear black. I don't wear black shirts. I have a light cat and a light dog. Uh, it doesn't stay dark. I love the shirts, though. Yeah. Wish I could wear them. I just kind of stare at Paul wearing them. It's weird, I know. I make them look terrible. Yeah. It's, it's my body. Yeah. Somebody else should wear it. <laughs> um, but, uh, no, check them out on uh, their website. What Use... shirt cut goes with dad bod? Is there one? They should make Fat, a dad skinny bod man. cut. <laughs> <laughs> dad bod. That's a good thing. You don't have dad bod, man. You don't. Really? No. Yeah. Not even fucking close. Compared to what I did Wait. have, it's dad bod. Well, yeah. Yeah. That was disgusting, though. It was the bucket hat that made that disgusting. The shirt. In my in my flavor saver. Yeah. I was going to say your face. <laughs> that helped nothing. Yeah. These are really bad, you know, reads. But, uh, yeah, Top Mount Apparel, check them out. GD Tenant Checkout. And uh, you'll save some yourself some money. Do and, it. Uh, just keep looking at them. They got a... Great new supplier for their stuff, so it should be great. Follow them on Instagram and Facebook as well. Yes, please do. Now. Do it now. Okay. Take a minute. There you go. Get that done. Don't pause this, though. No. You should be able to do both unless your phone yeah, starts. Yeah, you'll be fine. All right. And then we have Tap Tape. Tap Tape. Which apparently is a hotbed for new companies. <laughs> <laughs> Trust well, us, the only one you need is, is tap the tape. Tap Tape. It, honestly, it's the best tape out there. Um, and... Uh, I love using it. I had to use it again this week uh, because this finger, I think, is broken at the top. Really? 
it hurts Ooh, a it, lot. It does have a little bit of a. It's a not. It's. I thought it was just a little swelling, but uh, I hit it today. Did and, it make you cry a little bit? Oh a little, a little yeah, bit a little eyed. bit. Yeah. It was fine. Bad. <laughs> It's so, kind of like watching Marley and me where you just kind of get choked up a little bit. Yeah, you're a little bit. You're not going to cry, a little but bit. you could if you wanted to. Yeah, you just a little let bit. it go, yeah. It was bad. It hurt a lot. <laughs> I was shocked because I don't have a ton of feeling in these hands and uh, like I have other hands, but they're the two, if you could see us. <laughs> <laughs> these and hands, not my other hands, ones. These hands, not the other ones I left at home. <laughs> and uh, so, do, do, do. yeah, smart. And uh, rolling with it. And uh, so it hadn't really hurt that much. It's weird. I'm like, oh, look, it's like way jacked up and swollen. I can still bend it and use it. And no, I can't. You tape it up at work? <laughs> uh, I did. I had to. Nice. I used, um, just so it looked like kind of like a band aid and I wasn't like, you know, I used the white. I used the fission tube. Yeah, gotcha. So it I got a guy at work that was complaining that he hasn't been able to work out in the last month because he fucked up his finger. I'm like, bro, I got something for you. Hell so yeah. Monday, I'm bringing in the tap tape. Fuck I'm going yeah. to hook him up. We share with that. Yeah. Yeah. No, I still got to share with an Australian. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, um, remind me. <laughs> you just stay patient. Somebody send me a message and I'll go, ha, oh, do yeah. that when I get back from Florida. <laughs> no, um, no, you won't. No, I won't. I'll mean to, though. Yes, you will. Of all the good intentions. The intentions are there. So, But definitely check him out. Do not go to the website. He has improved it a little bit. I think we made fun of him. So it does go more than one page. Yeah. Not really, though. It doesn't really go anywhere. But it looks cool. Excellent. And uh, but yeah, he's uh, doing some great things. Check him out. He's a great guy. Um, besides, he has a nice truck. So he has a nice stuff. truck. Yeah. Um, and he did not get that from tap tape money. Just did not. No. Happen. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to not. Even though he should, because it's best tape out there. True that. Check it out. And then we have Croiler Gracie. He helps power the show. Um, even when he does a pro tip that uh, you know is really long, and I took a nap while reading. It's it's a bit on the long winded side. Yeah. yeah he asked not. me, uh, "Are you going to do this in one go or two? I'm like, "Dude, we're going to power through." Oh, this we're going to power through. We may cut and you know skip paragraphs right. and just assume what you said. Yeah, I'll just mumble a little bit. It'll be it doesn't fine. matter. Yeah. Have a z- 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 yeah. <laughs> two pa- two paragraphs. Stuff gone. and things. Darn. Yada yada. Also this. You know what he meant. We are out. So, but definitely check him out if you're in Northern Indiana. Um, can't beat it if you're anywhere near uh, Elkhart, Indiana, man. Hit it. Yep. Private lessons are amazing. Seminars, um, he's doing one in Ohio. We posted already about it. We'll do it again here a little closer to the date, but it's a camp. Dude, check it out. He's amazing. Sure. Uh, and They uh, also have this um, new podcast they're trying out, and we have a super fun rivalry going on right now, don't we, Kip? Well, I think you made one. I did. I was just I, kind of here. I did. So it seems been, that Andrew got sucked into this, and he, he is not a willing participant. <laughs> I don't know. I think he, I think he, he jumped is now. on board. Yeah. I think he, it, right off the bat, he was like, oh, this will be fun. Then, like, then you know, the death threats came so it's going to be it's going to be a uh, oh so i laid down the gauntlet in the last episode 97 yes about uh a super fight between andrew and myself because we're both the same rank and uh this is kind of how the pro tip started too we were talking about because you know the bigger and stronger you are the more success you have in jiu-jitsu so i'm clearly bigger and stronger than andrew because he's a tiny he's a tiny little tiny pips, tiny human yeah but you know the whole Gracie thing with you know it was made for the smaller small man weaker. he should yeah. dominate your yeah. ass I'm gonna prove that wrong when we but have it fits our, in our episode I know you see I know it's great everything's I just had coming to together say that everything just over together. and over <laughs> <laughs> but yeah uh, May 11 is our team training yeah so we are going to throw down um, apparently to the death we couldn't agree on a rule set so we're just like <laughs> go until somebody dies well I love how Corlers like just keep going I'm like. That's going to be fucking stupid. Give it a time limit or there's no pressure to finish. <laughs> it's, you know what I mean? Like you both want to win. But so maybe we'll do this. Let, let's, let's come up with something real quick. Maybe we go 10 minutes and then whoever taps out the most has to commit septuku, you know, with the spoon. Yeah, oh, with the yeah. spoon, though. Oh, yeah. Now, not a sharp knife, a spoon. Ooh, ooh, can it be a grapefruit spoon? Yes, it can. Okay, serrated. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That, that'll leave the wound open. Yeah, that way somebody still dies. Yeah. Um, and they have to do it to themselves, which is perfect. Yeah. yeah. My, uh, Out of shame. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, one of my favorite parts of this was, uh, you know, I led in our, we have a text um, thread with all four of us. In yes. It. And, you know, the famous people, us, and um, whatever you would call them. Um, They're a by, young upstart, you know. They, bystanders? Y- yes. <laughs> They're dipping their feet in the water, if you will. Yeah. And, uh, but I said early. 
one man enters, or two men enters, one man leaves. Yes, you did. It's a it's Thunderdome. A Thunderdome. Yeah. Hello, Thunderdome. It's awesome. If you don't know that, I'm sorry. Shame on you. <laughs> fucking watch an old <laughs> shitty 80s movie and you'll fucking get it. And uh, then like 20 minutes later in 87 text, Crow's like, we should Thunderdome this. I'm like, You're like, bro. I, I'm like, bro, but, I already said that shit like an hour ago. Yeah. Where are you at? And then I just. He didn't get the reference or he missed it. No. I'm going to guess he didn't get the reference. He probably, yeah. Yeah. He's young. He's a young he little whippersnapper. He's just a child. Just turned like 20 something. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's like 29. I don't know. I don't know. Something like that. I don't know. Like half my age. He just know. had a birthday. He did. We didn't pay a lot of attention no. to what, what age it made him. Yeah, we sent him some hate. It's cool. Yeah, of course. Uh, but what I wanted to point out and what first thing that came to mind just because of, you know, Crow's a big dude. A little bit. A little bit. Andrew's. Which is why he's good at jujitsu. <laughs> 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 yeah, obviously. <laughs> obviously, it's all his size uh, Yeah, that he doesn't use any of. But whatever, it's fine. And um, and then you got Andrew, who's small. Do you remember the character in Mad Max? Um, The giant with the little loud Dude, mouth. Dude, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, that's mouth. perfect. It I is. forgot all about that. <laughs> yes. Oh, um, someone's getting memed. Oh, yeah, that will come out. There will be a meme before this yeah. comes out because... Yeah, so oh, that's all I could think of. <laughs> I'm going to post something to uh, our page, and actually, it's going to come out before you hear this about so the, what about you, the super what, fight. So yeah. you're, we're going to like take votes on who you think is going to win this fight. Yeah, the, you, yeah, the you can young, do a poll. You yeah, do a the poll. young, small, fast, flexible, athletic, probably better at jujitsu. Uh, probably, probably. <laughs> if, we're, if we're honest, if I'm real honest with myself, better at jujitsu, um, or old man strength in size. <laughs> I can't wait to see how stupid you make this because I can't be there. I can't. I just can't. So, um, I have to work because people keep quitting my damn job. I think we should separate the gym and like who's who's rooting for him and who's rooting for me. I think we it, should bring one of those things um, from the playground, like the sphere, the half a sphere. Oh, dude, that so really make yeah. thunder. Just set it on top. Of yeah, <laughs> I, I like the way you think, but like a small one. Like yeah, oh yeah, like <laughs> way too small. Like like you guys will have like three square feet to wrestle in. <laughs> It'd be sweet. Oh, uh, Jesus. I like, I like the way you think. Yeah. Dude, I got this shit figured out. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be an epic, epic battle. Um, so well, we should post an actual picture um, of of Andrew and then a picture of you kind of side by side. So we'll need some stand-up just so they understand, you know, how how your size difference. Oh, I, I think we have some team training photos, and I can just kind of like crop them a little bit. He sits down quickly. No, He's no, like, no, no. I'm just going to sit. I think I got one where he's standing. I think uh, Travis is giving him a hug from behind, so it's like a very ah, awkward-looking picture, and yes. I'm standing literally all by myself, separated from yeah, the team. Yeah, that's fucking awesome. Yeah, so I'll I'll, uh, I'll try to... It was so sad it. that no one caught that you did that. Everybody's like, after the fact, they're like, what's Paul standing over there? Because he's fucking <laughs> awesome. He's dumb. <laughs> he's standing like a fucking superhero off to the side of 50 odd people. You know, I didn't realize I did that until after the picture was, was taken. I'm like, oh awesome. shit. So I, I made a meme. I don't think I posted it. I, I drew a big red circle around <laughs> the group and then I, I drew a circle of me and I said like circle of trust and then me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the exactly. Of it, yeah. Circle of trust everywhere, but Paul. Yeah. But uh, yeah, definitely uh, check out Croiler and his to podcast? Do you call it a podcast? I mean, podcast. Yeah, podcast. Yeah. yeah, that's what we we'll go with. To junior. Podcast. I think, like we said, like if if you need if you need to fall asleep quickly and you ran out of melatonin, give just jujitsu podcast a shot, and it uh, it could probably help you out. I mean, yeah, it's got a good. Uh, if you like um, two different variations of of speaking, so you have Croiler, who's very low, and then you have. The mildly, you know, hasn't gone through puberty sound of, of <laughs> Andrew. He's he's up here, so you know it gives you a good audible yeah, audible range. Yeah. It's actually it's yeah. more it's more distinctive than you and I, which is pretty distinctive <laughs> if I do say so I myself. Think yeah. it is, so you ever listen to those shows where they sound the same? You can't tell who the hell is talking. Um, Jocko when he has his buddy on, oh! I have no fucking clue which one's which. Yeah, yeah, the guy that own, the guy that owns Origin and yes. Jocko Willick. Dude, yeah. they they can't do a podcast no, together. No, no, stop. One of, one, of them, one of them has to like suck helium before they speak every yeah. single time. So I'll talk uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm like, oh my gosh, dude, they need to do that. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, it's bad. But uh, yeah, we can get to our pro tip at this point. All right. Yeah. Um, do you, uh, so we're, how are you breaking this up? Let's let them know. So are no, we no, doing the pro about, tip? Uh, Black Line. If you're in town. Oh, Black Line. If you're in Grand Rapids, come, Michigan, come beat us up. Yeah. Uh, Grand Rapids, you get it. But this pro tip is long, so we're going to get started. Yeah, that's where I'm I not breaking shit up. I'm going to start reading, and then we're going to just pick it apart as we go. 
Okay, and then where we're going to add the other part in. Do you have a... <laughs> what are you talking about? The part where we're talking about the uh, Adonis-type athletes. Oh, he kind of he kinda puts so that he, in there. Yeah. He, Okay, because yeah, that's going to yeah. be, just to let you know, it's going to be a longer tangent, Yeah, everyone. All right, uh, Krillers, <clears throat> pro tip. So, I was talking to Paul, and he was under the assumption that if someone wins a lot of tournaments, that their jiu-jitsu must be very good. Uh, yeah. And... At that moment, I became aware that Paul is clearly not retaining any of these pro tips I write up for them. Uh, we went ahead and pointed out what's wrong with that statement, so let's just move on. Yeah. Long ago, we discussed the idea that someone can be tough and not necessarily be good, whereas someone that is good is always tough. So, I had to explain to him again, and I stated that you have to take tournament performances with a grain of salt because it's not always that the tournament winners are the better practitioners of the art. He asked... How or why I thought that. Then he asked me to write a pro tip on it. Let's hope something sticks this time. So nope. I ca- so I, <laughs> one, d- no. No. Uh, two, the pro tip was not exactly that. Yeah, we talked about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So anyway, well, moving on. P.S. I, <laughs> I hope Andrew kills you on your duel to the death, considering you made me write a fucking eight-page pro tip. We didn't make you do shit. We, we ask kindly. We make you write shit, yes. We hold you captive to that. But we did not make you write eight pages. Did not. I but th- you did. I'm, I'm going to go with I did. It makes me feel better this way. I made him do it. Do you feel more empowered? I do. I feel like I have some power over him if I made him do it. We'll I'll go with that. that. We'll I go with that. that. All right. I'll get that. Oh, oh, oh. And these kind of topics are better done live. Well, <laughs> you know what? When you move to Grand Rapids, Michigan, then we can do them live. All right, buddy? Until You're- then... You're an hour this and a half away, man. This is the best we can do. You live on a lake. Why would you want to come here? You're already true. on a lake. We have lakes. We have prettier lakes. Have you we been do. on their lakes? Our, They're, our, his, our, I, I can't knock it. He lives in a really nice spot. Yeah, he does. <laughs> been there. It's a nice spot. Yeah, excellent. All right. <clears throat> Tournament performances with a grain of salt and all the extraneous shit that comes along with it. One. Why would the first place person not necessarily be best in the category? Two, why would the competitor that consistently does well not have good jiu-jitsu? Three, the life issue. Four, the white belt legacy. Uh, oh, sorry. The white and blue belt legacy issue. Five, cheating. That's what I do. Six, <laughs> exceptions that prove the rule. So let's break these items down. Number one, why would the first place person not necessarily be the best in the category? A tournament win can come from one of three ways. Submissions, points, advantages, and referee decisions. Because there are alternative means to winning a match other than submissions, which is the ultimate win, but the hardest to achieve, athletes, generally speaking, look for the easiest path to win the match. The easiest way to win in a tournament match is to manipulate the rules in your favor. To submit someone, you have to completely dominate the opponent's ability to fight you. To win with points, advantages, or referee's decision, you simply have to manipulate the rule system, which is far easier. That's a good point. It is. Um, You can train... To basically get points. Yeah, we talked about... To get an- advantage. Yeah, we talked about anti jujitsu as well, too. So just mm-hmm. because it's hard to submit somebody doesn't mean they're good at jujitsu. They're just good at turtling up and keeping all their limbs and neck tucked in. You well, I mean? a lot of people do that. Yeah. Like, um, because they get told so many times, like, you know, you're flailing around, you're doing all these things, and then next thing you know, they don't do anything. <laughs> they just sit there with their... Holding onto their own lapels. Well, like, no! Well, for a long time... <laughs> I was doing that thinking that I was doing good jiu-jitsu because they weren't tapping me out anymore. I had more success by just grabbing onto my own lapels and keeping my arms in tight than trying to escape. Yeah, well, yeah, because then you're literally just waiting for them to, like, basically give the position up. Exactly, but Mm -hmm. that, you know, that made me, uh, air quotes, tougher, right? Tougher to beat, tougher to tap, but it didn't make me any better God, no. Yeah, so, yeah, that makes a lot of sense, and if you can manipulate the rule set for that, then, well... (laughs) I'll, t- I'll get the takedown because I'm a wrestler <laughs> and do nothing. Oh, shit. No. <laughs> uh, it is far easier to manipulate a rule system because a rule system is predictable and unchanging, whereas manipulating an opponent is far tougher as they can change strategies, pace, style, and all that. And every opponent will be different. The rule system won't do any of those things. Uh, that's fair. This is bullshit. So you could have <laughs> stupid some stupid rules. Stup- <laughs> I mean, you're right. <laughs> Every, it is quite stupid. Yeah, everything should be to the death. So 
you could have complete garbage jujitsu or just anti jujitsu and still outperform the better practitioner if you simply play slash manipulate the rule system better than they can. Anyone that doesn't believe that or tries to argue against it is an idiot. So judgy. Wow, he really drew a line in the sand. <laughs> right. <laughs> if this wasn't the case, most matches would end in submission. Uh, especially considering that is the whole goal of jiu-jitsu. Yet most matches end in points, advantages, or referee's decision. They really do. They really do. Um, yeah. What I'd like to think of, because everyone needs to come up with an idea, <laughs> send it to us, uh, of a better point system. <laughs> I'm sure everyone has one. I don't. I don't either. I, I will no say ideas. this, though, is draws should be a more more of a thing. So instead of, because if you had more draws as a thing, like they basically in, I do believe it was hockey a few years ago, they have shootouts. They always had shootouts. Right. Right. But they would basically keep going till something fucking happened. Well, it's kind of fucking lame. And then they would finally call, you right. know, somebody had to fucking win. They would get to death, sudden death. Well, now they cut that shit off. They're like, well, here. And then basically, if you don't, you know, whoever wins still gets a point, whatever. Hmm. Well, the cool thing about the idea is, for me is put a time limit on it, of course. And then the time limit's going to what drive people to go after things. Right? Right. So if they only know they're going to have 30 more seconds, you know, on a sudden death round or a minute left, they're going to go for shit that they normally wouldn't d- because of the time. And that if no one's, you know, submitted, fucking guess what? It's a draw. Draws scare the shit out of people. No one wants a draw. You didn't pay your money to get a draw. Yeah, true. That does you know? It's like when you pay your money and someone yeah. doesn't show up to fight. You exactly. Just get your arm raised for nothing. Yeah, like your daughter. Your oh, daughter got pissed. that. She was super pissed. God, I've never seen her that. She angry. got two two medals because somebody didn't fucking yeah. show up. And she yeah. was she didn't want it. Nope. She was like, "What the fuck? I didn't even do anything." Well, yeah, yeah that sucks. So no one wants a draw. Absolutely no one. So fucking make it a draw. And this point bullshit, I get it because. Matches would go on forever, right? Yeah, you got to... Without points. Yeah. Like, if you sign up for a, a tournament and the fights are going on for, like, an hour and a half, <laughs> yeah. and you're going... You're not going to I'm not waiting until 2 a.m. to get my fucking fight. No, but here's the other thing that I'm going to talk about, too, with the point system, and you guys can put this all together and make a good point system. All on your own. I like the uh, uh, the EBI rules, Eddie Bravo and Which I don't mind. I don't mind. I just... It doesn't do any gi shit, though. No, that's part of the thing. I love gi. I yeah. love watching gi. I, yeah. I just do. Um, but takedowns take down like and this isn't because i suck at them it's really not it's <laughs> to try to get people to be forced into just trying takedowns well eddie Bravo Less, has a sit down rule yes which yeah. is awesome awesome yeah it's like if you can't get it done guess what yeah <laughs> you're sitting the fuck down <laughs> but why don't you basically have that rule from the get-go is there's no real point for taking someone down like you have to if you end up in a very advantageous um, position and you hold said position perfect you know, you get the points, but you shouldn't just because you took someone down and ended up in their guard. and ended up in their fucking guard. You're in a not less advantageous position, correct? So neither one of you should get a fucking point, <laughs> yeah. or maybe give him a point because he defended you into his guard. I think they should make it like football. You know how they like flip a coin for the kickoff? Yeah, it's like you flip a coin. Who's going to be on bottom guard? Who's going to be on top guard? And then you can pick. So yeah. the uh, winner picks if they want to be on top or bottom. Something, guard. just anything. Because like we're we're brilliant. People None are going to love these ideas. Work. <laughs> None of them would work at all. Paul, I it's guarantee just, you, Paul Elias listening right now, fuming. Oh, I don't give a oh, shit. It's going to be. I just want to. Oh, see I his can't face. wait. Well, you can just feel the phone burning. <laughs> as, like he's going to be on top of us. Right, I'd love to keep on continuing down that path, but this is long. Stop saying I path. Have to move on. All right. Stop yes. Stop saying path. I understand <laughs> that five to ten minutes may not be a sufficient amount of time to submit someone that is the same level as you or just somebody that is tough. I get that. However, our answer to that dilemma should be to improve our technique and our jujitsu so that we can achieve the submission and the time allotted. Not accept the fact that we cannot get any better at jujitsu and that improvement is easier to manipulate. It's easier to manipulate the system. Mm. <laughs> not read well. No. Maybe not, not, written, not well. written well. Don't know. <laughs> I'll move on. Oh, but it takes so long to get a real edge on the other guy, my level, <clears throat> and it is so hard. My eyes rolled as I typed this. You might still be able to hear the echoes as they scraped my eye sockets. Tough shit. Get better at the art 
not at the game. But that's not the way of the day. No. <laughs> the way of the day yeah. is fucking... Uh, I like how he I'm dies go- on this hill, though. He fucking... He, he will die on there. this hill. Yeah, he's like, no, this is this is it. Here's my sword. I'm going to jump on this bitch. And the thing this is, is, this is yeah. where I'm at. And I think he's right, though. It is, it's not lost on him. He understands, and he's not even mad at it, but he goes like, well, if we're talking about good at jiu-jitsu or just yep. good at competitions, it's not the same thing. No. And that's what he's getting at here. And I, yep. and I respect and that. And I, I do. Yep. So, someone that is lesser talented or skilled could outperform the more talented, better skilled jiu if they simply manipulate the rules better. Uh, Which yeah, sucks. Which sucks. B. What well, if, that's how Austin lost his last one. Is it really? Well, the, the guy just laid on him. Oh, And yeah. he just stiffened up so bad, it's like in your white belt level, so you don't have... A ton of tools. A ton of tools yeah. to break that. And I, and I went over one really quick one. And he was like, well, dude, he had my belt. And he was just holding on like this. I'm like, grab his fucking elbow. He's like, I did. I'm like, grab it with both hands and pull it the way that it goes. Huh? Push or pull? Oh. I'm like, yeah. But he doesn't know no. that. It's not something you go over as a white belt. Like, I, I learned that from Paul Elliott. Hmm. Like, I used to, I did it. I always did that because you do it. You pull the elbow the way it can move rather yeah. than towards you or backwards. Right. Because you can just lock it out. So it's basically rolling it. Yeah. And I go, it, it's, I go, dude, if he doesn't let go, he's going to wrist lock himself on your belt or your abdomen. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, fun. it works because you just pull it towards you and keep pulling. Either they're going to break down and you can get to a better position. Well, that's part of the problem is that kid knew he didn't have to. And he also know he's finding someone that has about the same amount of skill and knowledge he had. Right. So he sat there. Yep. I already the got my time. two points, and I'm not doing shit. Yeah, he really losing. didn't. He freaked out, and that's you know, white belt. That makes sense. But like Austin was trying stupid shit. He's like, right. Ugh, work, go this, yeah. that, nothing. <laughs> it's like, yeah, because the guy, like, if the guy's just gonna stiffen up, and he's strong enough to do it. It's going to be hard to get out of there, especially as a white belt. You just don't work on that True shit. That. Exactly. Exactly right. So he's just playing the game. That sucks because you didn't win shit. <laughs> you won. I held on your belt longer. You got that medal, though. <laughs> yeah. That's what they care about. All right. What if they are submitting everyone they are competing against? Before we praise this individual, we must ask, who is he fighting against? And is there sandbaggery involved? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, a, that's, that's a, thing a thing in this sport. That's yeah. a fucking thing. If the competitor that submits everyone is that because he is a huge fish in a small pond. Example, if a great competitor pick a random world champion such as the Meow Brothers and they came to a small local tournament and cleaned house submitting all of their opponents, does that speak volumes about their ability, about the comp- the competition's ability? Meaning, would they have the same percentage submissions win at a larger stage? Would they even have the same performance statistics? Probably not. I wouldn't think so. That's that's actually a really good point, too, because at, all jiu-jitsu is local, right? So unless you yeah. live in the Mecca, which is somewhere in Brazil or California, yeah. SoCal somewhere, a lot of these local tournaments, like, you're not going against the best of the best. You're, you're going against, you know. Well, and that's pe- what Morgan struggled with. Um, you know, especially in the Midwest, we struggle with that. Yeah, we don't we don't have a lot of jujitsu. Going we don't on have in a Midwest, lot of black yeah. belts dude, around us, dude. For a like, long time, there was one in Michigan. One. Yeah, for that dude's a, a super douche. <laughs> but I'm yeah, just, what are you gonna do? I'm just kidding. I have no clue what it is. By the way, <laughs> not a clue. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's it's like because Morgan had to go to Chicago on a regular basis just to get more regional fights because it just wasn't happening yeah, here in she, Michigan. Yeah, she flew out to uh, California, California last and did year, really yeah. well yep. with there. Mm-hmm. And even there, she didn't have a lot of competition. Right. She yeah, fought a 10th Planet girl that she w- said she was awesome, way cool person, but she had to fight her a few times. Yeah. Oh, side note, uh, she's going to Worlds. Hell yeah, Which she is. is awesome. Uh, and if, even then she goes, I'm not going to have a lot of competitors. In That's what sucks. Worlds. Meanwhile, she's uh, a purple belt. Yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, if you're a blue belt competitor going to Worlds, you're gonna have like 118 opponents. Yeah, I but think she had what? What was eight? her eight? Yeah. I, yeah, it was six or eight. It was yeah, it was pretty low. <laughs> I, I want to say I might be wrong on yeah. it, but it, it was six right. or eight. And I'm like, that sucks because she she just wants to fight. She'll take a loss. Yeah, she doesn't usually, but she will as a person. She'll take a loss yeah. and learn from it. She's uh, she's a true competitor that way. Yeah. And um, yeah, she wants to fight really good women. Yes, yeah. she wants to. She would rather get beat by somebody that was better than her than beat the crap out of someone that was inferior to right. her. Right. It's you know just because they had to fill a weight class. Exactly. Me. Uh, two. Or what if it's a blue belt that is tearing up their competition at all stage levels? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's me, homie. Submission rate. 
is the same in all stage levels and competition performance is the same regardless of competition level? Well, maybe that blue belt is simply better at jiu-jitsu, not just manipulating the rules. Or maybe that blue belt is a sandbagger. That's one of those things where you just, that's hard to tell. Like it... No, but it's a great every, excuse if you have an ego and you lose. You can be like, that motherfucker was sandbagging. <laughs> well, yeah, that can go either way. It's like, are you a really good blue belt or, are you, or a should you be purple a purple belt? belt? <laughs> well, that's just it. Like, you know, I, I'm I'm pretty good for a blue belt, but as soon as I get my purple belt, I'm a pretty shitty purple belt. And then it's, it's a whole yeah, different know. level. Yeah, so, it is. you know, there's, you know, where's that fine sandbagging line? Who makes that, that call? You know what I mean? I'll go ahead and do it. Go ahead. I'll call it. Um, no, I'm going to call the... the do, yeah. Oh, check. I got you. I'm like, I can. I know a sandbagger when I see it. Yeah, I'll call it <laughs> for you. Just give me a call. Yeah, right. show, you know, show me the video. Show me a video. Yeah, I got I'll this. I'll be like, that motherfucker's a sandbagger. sandbagger. Well, there's going to be two options, okay, when I give you a decision. It's going to be a sandbagger or you really suck at jujitsu. It's just going to be the two choices. <laughs> Yeah. It could, yeah. Well, it's it's, it's it's funny because you know, you're a blue belt. You could be like, I just got my blue belt, or you could be like a three year in blue belt, just on the verge, maybe not quite sandbagging, but there's a world of difference between those two cats. Well, all yeah, things being equal. Well, that's why my belt's gonna be awesome because it's gonna be like tape free. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll be a true sandbagger. Oh, fuck yeah, I'm gonna be. It's gonna yeah. be great. Yeah, except you won't do competitions, which is a smart move. No, I'm just gonna do it to people I know. That seems like the right thing to that do. That is actually more fun. Yeah, just, you know, <laughs> new people that come into the gym. Like, oh, you just got his blue belt. Why uh, does it look so ratty? <laughs> Why are there holes in it? <laughs> no reason. <laughs> it's fine. I use acid to wash it. <laughs> I acid wash my... <laughs> <laughs> uh, two. Why would the competitor that consistently does well not have good jiu-jitsu? This could be due to a number of factors. How many people are they competing against? Are they constantly getting first and second place all the time in a bracket of two people? <laughs> that's that's very valid. Why does that happen so often? Well, here's the thing. Like you get you get small Midwest tournaments like we're talking like about us. Yeah. and you get then you get a bunch of different uh weight classes. So you might have like 50 blue belts well you, you you have a lot of different weight classes too so yeah. by the time you're all said and done like you might have rolled against two to four people five if you're lucky if you're lucky yeah so you're like i guarantee a medal well they yeah well larry they can't even find somebody to fill larry's um uh, weight class yeah i'm like fuck yeah. that sucks Cause larry finally finally he's like i'm gonna do one to say i can do it. i've done it respect and yeah, dude, and he's dude. I can't wait to. I really want to see him go because I want to see him go against someone his size. Because I've gotten him to to lay it on me, like you know, I'm like just freaking do your shit. Mm -hmm. He's a totally different creature. Like it's he's a totally different role. Much more technique involved because he loses his technique when he sits. That he tries not smashing people. Ah, uh, yeah, Larry's our sense. big guy. Like he's our he was our big guy for our, uh, he was our senior correspondent for the oh, yeah big guy the show rolling well uh, bigger than right, most rolling people. well huge yeah. So, um, but yeah, I, dude, it's, it sucks that he can't even get a freaking person because there's just not enough people doing yeah. jujitsu in this area. Yeah. That, that is kind of sucky. And yeah, that's got to go to the, uh, as well for this tip. I always get gold or silver, but yeah. How many, <laughs> yeah. Um, how many people hey, do you bro, fight typically you for fought that? the same dude named yeah. Ralph 14 <laughs> times. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, moving on. Or had they figured out a game plan that heavily relies on the rule set to win, et cetera, et cetera. All right, now before I go on, I need to explain things a little more clearly and create some breathing room as I am sure plenty of coaches, competitors, practitioners, and fans are hating on me right now. Uh, yeah. That's just natural. Yeah, I just, you should be used to that. So let me explain my point of view more before going to the next few points. The goal of jiu-jitsu is to provide the easiest path to submission. Protect yourself. Identify a weakness in the opponent. Achieve a dominant position. Control the dominant position. Expose a weakness in the opponent's defense. Submit. When a rule set constricts our working ability, meaning a time boundary is placed on the fight, it becomes harder to properly implement that game as it may take time to find weaknesses in your opponent's game. That's what we were talking about earlier. Yeah. Like sometimes, like they just have really good anti jujitsu. I'm like, I can't get this fucking elbow up. Yeah, <laughs> and I it's can't grab a collar because stuck. they're injuring. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's funny because uh, when I was using my anti jujitsu, and I was actually pretty good at anti jujitsu. Yeah, you were at a certain level. That shit didn't matter anymore. Like once they started getting good, like they just go right through that. Like yeah, just easy. Well, but once I got used to it, I'm like, yeah, like oh. once you understand, like, yeah, yeah, yeah like oh, watch this. 
And I was showing a white belt once, remember that? I'm like, watch this. You just grab this collar and you turn. It gets really uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> so, it sucks. It's a dick move. They work. Yeah, it worked. Right. All right. So the issue becomes if my opponent is skilled and I don't have the time to find the weakness, how do I win? All of a sudden, manipulating the rule set becomes enticing. Eye gouging. Eye guys. Fish hook. <laughs> Because it is easier to achieve a point win with a restricted time limit than it is to submit an opponent of equal level within that same time limit. What if your opponent has figured the same thing as you? That the easiest win is to manipulate the rule set to their favor. Well then now aren't we even necessarily fighting to submit or to achieve points? We may simply be fighting for an advantage. What if the opponent is also fighting for the advantage and win? Then we must fight for the referee's decision. We must simply look better and look as if we are trying harder. This leads to a bastardization of jiu-jitsu. It has happened to every other martial art and their tournaments. Point fighting is a plague in all other martial art styles, and the same is happening in ours. This sad development leads to the next three points I will discuss in a little bit. The white belt to blue belt legacy issue, life issues, and the cheating issue. Dude, that. That's fair. Like, I what gotta are you gonna... give him give him a lot of credit for that because that was really well put to get his angle on the whole thing. It just it really was. It's because that's yeah, how I feel. Because well I, I don't understand a point system where it's like, well, all I have to do is sit here for three seconds and I'm good. Fuck that. What? Why? I don't like how. I I think. Do you think they're doing the best that they can? Well, restricting it to a time limit so that people can have fun and get a lot of people through the tournament. So it's just like, I don't know what else to do. Because otherwise, like you said, it's just going to be draws after draw after draw. Then people will start doing what they're supposed to. Maybe you're right. Maybe there just should be like, hey, if you don't get a win, you Like I said, there's a shootout at the end. If you don't fucking win, you don't win. I don't like, you know what I mean? You you didn't win. You didn't put the, the puck in the goal. You don't win. So fucking draw. Draw. Have fun. Draw, draw, draw. Yeah. Now, if you want to use the point system for the ranking, you know, or let's say you had 75 draws <laughs> in a tournament and you all went by points, then the points can give first through 10th, whatever you want to do. Oh, that's an interesting way. So yeah. it's because I'm, it's just, it's, it's stupid because you can tell people will do a transition in a beautiful transition because this is the only kind of what I watch is gi tournaments the mm-hmm. only thing i really watch and you'll see a beautiful transition that a novice blue belt like myself can go the arms right there like if they transition you know they transition so well it gave them an opening to a submission mm. they won't do it you'll see them pause and you're like either they didn't see that which come on now the, the ones <laughs> i'm watching are brown belt and better so it's like they fucking saw that but they would rather not risk losing their position because they won't get the points yeah, because by if, going if they for get, it. If they get swept during their transition, then well, there goes now, the point. Now, now they're point losing. Down. Yeah, yeah, now I'm a point down because I did that. Fuck that. That's stupid. Yeah, that's got to be interesting because I. What's the I point understa- of jujitsu? I understand the idea of winning, right? Like you're doing jujitsu and you have a chance to win. I guess that was fucking awesome. So I understand winning. Well, do my, you? <laughs> not really. I'm, I'm kind of a loser, but I, I get where it would be appealing, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? You no, know what no, I'm no. I know what you mean. You, yeah. Basically, you're saying I get the appeal of winning by points because yeah. you're still quote Win. unquote winning. Yeah, and if yeah, and I if, get that, and people spend a lot of time and money to do these tournaments. Like most of them aren't getting paid. They we they, literally just got an email from uh, another video of Hunter just oh, came through yeah? while we're sitting here. And it's a video of him and his newest competition. And all the at the end, there's like, it's so damn expensive. expensive yeah. And I'm like, because they want Hunter to do as much as he can, you know, right. as he's wanting to do. They just flew him to South Australia for this one. Well, and it's like, yeah. it's, and there's like, we love it. We were willing, willing to do whatever we can for our kid, but it's freaking expensive. And imagine this, you pay all this money and it's just, you never get a medal because draw, draw, draw. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or yeah. you're there until 6 a.m. the next morning because. Also stupid. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, in one respect, I hate it. And I understand why Coiler hates it because it is bastardizing. It, it is. Because you can play to the to the system. And more and more people are. But what else do you do to keep people involved? I think we came up with it? a few wonderful ideas that will never come to truth. True, true. But honestly, think about it. If if 
points were only used for overall rank within a tournament and overall, and wins came first. So if you won, that only comes into effect if you didn't if there was all draws. Guarantee there wouldn't be that many draws because no one's going to want to go to points and give it. You know what I mean? Right. Just like in MMA. I don't want to fucking leave it. And yeah, I think I had an um, mature. <laughs> it's fine. You like it's fine. Eight. You knew what I meant. Right. <laughs> I'm lowering myself to Paul's level. Um, I've been there. Who am I kidding? Yeah, fair. Uh, but like in MMA, no one let. Don't let it go to the judges. Okay, well let's do that in fucking jujitsu. <laughs> yeah, true. You know, because you have judges now, and all they do is count the amount of points that the ref called for. No, no, they say, I know this guy. He wins. Now you're starting a whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> All right, I'll back off that one. I'm not dying on that hill. All right, uh, where am I now? One may say, well, if you don't like the rule set, don't compete under that specific rule set. or make <laughs> Or make your own up, as we're doing right now. Or simply don't compete. That's my jam. And that is a very fair and true point. And they are right. We can simply refuse to partake in it. However, while we can refuse to partake in it, the vast majority of people will continue to participate in it as they may not mind it. This will ultimately lead to shittier jujitsu being developed. A jujitsu. A point based jujitsu. <laughs> well, well, that's it, right? Yeah. A jujitsu that is molded for competition and a competition that is molded for jiu-jitsu. I think competition is great uh, is a great tool for self-discovery, for testing your ability against others of the same level as you, as a means to identifying weaknesses in your jiu-jitsu, as a means to prove how good your jiu-jitsu is. There's a plethora of great things that come from competing and from testing ourselves that will improve your life. So, I am for competitions. I do think we need them. I don't think everyone has to compete. But I do think com- uh, competitions are necessary and a great tool for people in general. I just fear for what it'll do for jiu-jitsu when the emphasis has become on playing the rule set and fearing losses rather than in displaying great jiu-jitsu and having the desire to win. Also very well said. Yeah. He's on a yeah. roll. Look at yeah. him go. Dude, look at him. This is why you write long ones. I'll let you go on this. Yeah, I uh, I would love to bust your balls. Um, I can't. But yeah, that's can't. Uh, couldn't have said it better myself. Clearly, because I made you write it. Made made you write it. <laughs> I love how you're really <laughs> emphasizing that. We're gonna lose him. And this We're is our last pro tip. Yeah. <laughs> From now on, it's uh, Jujitsu Times articles, and it's gonna just kind of just yeah, no it's just gonna go downhill there. from yeah, there. It's terrible. Let's not do that. Thank you, Kryler, for this wonderful. Speaking pro tip. of which, real quick. Hey, uh, we haven't heard from Chris down in Indiana. He hasn't said anything to us recently. He did say that that's not a shit, though, to be fair. Fuck him. Fuck him. <laughs> it's where no, I'm at on that you're one. You're going to write for the you're show. You're going to write. He Damn did it. a good one. I he liked did, it. Yeah. The game planning game one, plan. it was good. I just like everybody. I, I like different ideas. Okay. Corolla does, too, though. Corolla thought it was great that we had other people. I was perusing out. through um, simplebjj.com the other day, too. Yeah. And like, oh, I found a couple that I uh, I do want to get to eventually. Oh, no, so. we can murder those. Oh, for sure. We, we can know him those. personally. Yeah, we can murder the out of even those. Even more fun. Until he writes something about his the the cake balls, I don't really give a shit what they say. This is true. Uh, the recipe for yes. said cake balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, from your wife, not you. I don't trust you. No, oh, the true. Amy? Hook it up. Please, help. Hook it up. <laughs> be your best friend. Yeah. I think yeah, that's not appealing at all. <laughs> like, no, 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 no. no, no. We no won't be your best you. friends. <laughs> yeah, we'll leave you alone. How about that? <laughs> Next time, we'll let you get yeah. a hotel room. Jack. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that makes sense because you've got so many people wanting to compete, and then you have to mold your jiu-jitsu for the competitions, and then you're not really doing jiu-jitsu. That's jiu-jitsu, which is self-defense like you said you defend yourself you sweep the opponent you get on top you, yeah. dom- you know what I mean that's what jiu-jitsu is it is and it, if you're learning from people that are winning competitions a lot of those guys start their own schools right hey I'm I'm well known I'm a world champion black belt I, I'm marketable I'm gonna start a school and I'm gonna I'm gonna propagate this jiu-jitsu that got me to where I'm at which yeah. might not necessarily be the jiu-jitsu that's gonna save your ass if you ever get attacked. Well, and that's the other thing that people will say in defense of that is I do it for the sport. Right? But the only thing is it's not really a sport. 
it's an art. It's been sportified. It's been yeah. It's an, uh, it's a sportified art. Yeah, and that kind of sucks. It uh, really does because then you get things at schools that you know people get propped up because of their competition, reg- regardless of how good they are. Or and this happens even at white belt level. You know, Ooh. people come in that are, are balls to the wall, super aggressive. Yep wrestlers on are just a normal mm-hmm. it's not a bad thing it's just you you have yeah, you, the aggression have, already yeah. built in you, you have mat time yes and you, that's you a have a deal. base yeah. you have a humongous base that i like paul and i did not have paul had yeah. taekwondo super helpful in jujitsu oh, yeah for sure super. i was murdering everybody yeah, i was kicking yeah. people <laughs> and i won and then i had like then you have me i have zero martial arts experience yeah. at all and it's like I had somebody ask me that. Like I've had multiple people ask me that. So I know, you know you're really into jujitsu. What was your base? I f- didn't have one. Soccer. Yeah, soccer. It <laughs> fucking worked great. A little bit of tennis on the weekends. Yeah, I kicked. Really people. helps out. My golf game. Woo! Really yeah. helped out. But the thing is, the the reason I say that is like, if I was introduced to a point based system and I had this other wrestler, I would get my ass kicked either way. But this dude's going to get propped up because he's really good at getting on top and being aggressive and doing all this shit that I didn't, I don't know how to do that. Well, not only that, but there's another uh, thing goes around in a lot of gyms is you're not going to get ranked unless you do well in competition, which is so dumb. Like right. when, you, when you see those, we've talked about this and it's a pet peeve of ours. I'm sorry if I cut you off. Okay. Actually, I don't care. Um, <laughs> but it's no, when mad. you see guys, <laughs> when you see guys come in, like their coaches makes everyone else feel like shit. They're like, you got first, fuck you, fuck you to first and the second and third place and put a belt around the dudes for fucking thing. Yeah. I don't like that. It's, it's to me, it's disrespectful to the two people that you just went against. Hey, yeah, you were a blue belt. Now you're a purple belt because you beat these dumb fucking blue belts. It and just like we seems like, like Carla talked about earlier, you built two people in the Midwest that happen to be in your same weight division. Yeah, that's it. And so you're getting because a fucking you, because you beat those two guys. Now you're the next rank, or you manipulated the system, or you know the system, right. or you were aggressive, more aggressive than the other right. person. I, I, I say that in this fact that I can't stand that people that are aggressive in this sport get accolades. It fucking annoys me. Yeah, it, it's like you, you got to be honest. And that to, goes from gym level all the yeah. way up. I think you, you got to be honest to jujitsu, not really the sport aspect or the competition. aspect. Yes. You have to be honest to where's your level? Like, how good are you? Like, even if you lost every single competition, what what can you do? What's your knowledge base? Can you defend yourself in all these ways? You know what, you know what I mean? <sighs> yeah, exactly. And it's like, well, it's like it's like, well, hold on. It's like, uh, oh, no, it's I'm, like John Donaher, right? The dude's clearly brilliant, but if if Gordon Ryan fights him, guess who's going to win, right? But who knows more? Donner, Donner, clearly. You know, so that, yep. you know, on a smaller scale, right, you got you bring that down to like a blue, purple, white belt scale. Like there's, there's people out there that aren't going to win competitions, but they're just so much more knowledgeable and better at jujitsu than the big, you know, well, not even big, the same size, just very aggressive and very rule-oriented people. What? You know, you're not... But you're not better at jujitsu, but you're a lesser rank because he just won a competition. Yeah, that's, like get the fuck out of here. And, and everybody's like, "Well, rank it, that's all your it's own your own thing, your own whatever." No, fuck that. There, there's a rank for a reason for me, you know. And sadly, I just wanted to get to blue belt, so I'm pretty happy. <laughs> Made that goal, knocked it out of the park. Yeah, but winning. But, but like, people can pass me. I don't care. That's up to them. Like, but I, I, I if you pass me because you're there, you're putting in the time. You're doing your shit. I don't care. You better pass me because I'm not because I don't have the time. Right. Um, I have an hour and a half every Tuesday <laughs> to talk about it. You know, that's my free time and I, I spend it doing it with you, you know, with all the people here. Well, guess what? If I get passed because some dumb shit won a tournament because he's really good at getting on top and, and staying there and he's now a blue belt with two stripes. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, I can't do a scissor sweep. No. Don't know yeah, do you, I, I do can't you, do a proper cross collar choke. Stop, can you stop the rape choke? No? No? <laughs> you don't know jujitsu. You know what I mean? Are you doing a rape choke? <laughs> right. <laughs> Even yeah, better. Yeah, side note, that's how I plan on tapping out Andrew <laughs> yeah, is with a that rape was the choke. Se- yeah. That's the secret to yeah. uh, Paul's game plan is <laughs> rape choking the shit out of you. He's <laughs> like, uh, how are you going to beat him? Rape choke. Rape choke. Like. That's not a thing. I'm like, so you're gonna oh, set it's it. Gonna be you're gonna set it up. No, no. I'm going straight rape oh, joke. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Put re- my hands around his throat and squeeze until he <laughs> taps out, <laughs> and yeah. then make him commit seppuku. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna. We're be- bringing 
a grapefruit spoon. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to happen. So, uh, but yeah, that's, you see what I'm saying though? Like yeah, I'm I cool with people passing me with skill and overall just putting in the work. No, I don't care how fast you get in front of me. I, I want to caveat all this a little bit. No. Because <laughs> there are people that have really good jujitsu that also do really well. Oh, with hell yeah. But that's not what we're talking about. No, that's not like, what we're talking Like, we're not talking, talking about. about Hunter in this thing like that, because we understand Yeah, that. exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah You're a Hunter. different animal. <laughs> I get it. You're different, bro. You're better yeah. than us. You're not part of this. Yeah. <laughs> you little settle, bastard. Like, settle down. <laughs> settle down, all right? He makes... I guarantee this video is going to make me feel worse about my jujitsu. Oh, yeah. That, that's one thing. But, uh, so, uh, like, but, look, but I can't stand anything... Well, okay, I hate, I hate when, like, little kids... Are, way better, are than us? better than I'll <laughs> ever be in my entire life. You know, like I don't have any any hope of being no. that good. It, and you're like no. nine, ten. Yeah. you know. They, watching, and they've been doing it for less time than. You. Oh, dude. There's oh, this. There's God, this so uh, insulting. There's this young lady. She's 15. And I forget her name, um, but she's from 10th Planet, I think. And she's just doing the competitions. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. That's unbelievable. Yeah. Like she's a 15 year old girl, and she's and she's yeah, beating she was up. In the she's beating up on 27 uh, year old ladies that have been doing yeah. it for like three times as long. And yeah, she was in that big quintets, wasn't she? I don't know what yeah. she was in. I just yeah, seen she a was couple highlights. yeah, she was in one of the quintets, yeah. which is amazing because she got invited to be on that yeah. team. Amazing, very stoic face. Like she didn't look happy about anything. But, Fuck no, but she but would murder all of her opponents yeah. at 15. 15. That's Nicky, amazing, Nicky Ryan type shit. Yeah, well, yeah, same thing with him, yeah. right? It's just you got you got people but out there that eats, sleeps, and breathes right. jujitsu since he he was like Hunter, like in the in in that way. He literally lived it. Yeah, it, like what? It, who was it um, that said he literally slept on the mats multiple times? I think that was his brother. That was yeah. That was saying he's not a prodigy. Like look what he does. He like he's lives he's not there. natural at this. That's just what he does all, all the, time. the time. Yeah, and he has a more fluid, much more fluid style than his brother. I want. They're both oh. awesome. Let's let's yeah. be honest. I, I'm not a huge Ron Ryan fan, but I can I, I'm, res- I'm I have a, mad a, respect for I'm him. I'm a fan of his game. Yes. Um, the, the the shit talking I I appreciate it on one level because I think it's funny, but I would never do it. Like that's just no. Well, okay, I say that after busting you know Andrew's balls, but, 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 but you know but, what I mean. I'm not. I'm like, <laughs> oh, I'm so great. The whole world is fucked. I'm because, King you know, Ryan. I'm pretty yeah. sure he made up his own nickname. He might have. Oh, you can't do that. No. That's just dirty pool. No, 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 no. That being said, like I, I have the utmost respect for how hard that man trains. He, oh yeah, how dude, good he is. He'll a lose dude. an arm to win. Yeah, uh, you can't. He is a can't hate on a person balls. for that. No. And but that, that's not who we're talking about though. Right. What we're and people are going to say this to us. I'm sure we're going to get an email or two or 78. Let's hope so. Um, but I love it. The, the dads, grabmydads.com. Um, <laughs> In case you remember, forgot. check out the website. Um, <laughs> new website. Just go ahead and check it out. A little oh, yeah, self-promotion. Yeah. Up now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuzzies. It's super good, All man. Right. So, we'll talk and, about that later. But yeah. yeah, and uh, Nathan's been doing some mad work on that thing. He He's part will. of our team. We have a team now. You told him that last week. Yeah, I know. Okay, check. I didn't know if you No, were. I know. Okay. I'm still I didn't excited. I know if you forgot that you told. I might have, but I'm yeah, moving, moving on. on. Uh, <laughs> don't point it out. Sorry. No, uh, but yeah, it's, what are you doing over there? I'm cracking my neck. Oh. I got issues. You should hear when I do it. It makes a weird popping noise and intense pain. Nice, nice. <laughs> Pretty cool. Do it right now um, for, the, for the audience. Fuck off. <laughs> uh, but no, it's, uh, that's not who we're talking about. We're talking about the people that come in and literally that's their important thing is to learn how to win via an appointment system. And sadly, that sect is growing. Yeah. Exponentially. Yep, I, I fucking agree. hate it. Yep, I'm more of the city right because we are fucking... <clears throat> How long are we in here? Uh, we're, we're pretty good. Yeah. yeah we're know. pretty good into it. I also don't want to be disrespectful to any competitors out there. You are the reason Jiu-Jitsu has grown worldwide and continues to have a healthy presence because competing is fun. Most world-class competitors are good technicians and are... Very good fighters. Most definitely the world champions at black belt level are great jujiteros. And all of you are the best at whatever rule set you compete in. My point is that we must acknowledge the fact that while the athletes are very good, they are forced by the rule sets and culture to fight in a way that isn't necessarily in line with good, proper jujitsu. Because doing so means losing in a tournament, and not practicing 100% proper jiu-jitsu may lead to a better successful outcome if it benefits manipulation of the rules. 
meaning you can be incredible at tournament jiu-jitsu and only okay at actual jiu-jitsu. Which is stupid! It is stupid. This, of course, doesn't mean that all competitors are this way, but it's a large chunk of the population. Hey, it's like we just said that weird. (laughs) Now, if you generally are submitting everyone at all levels with great competition and in all rule sets, then no one can argue that you don't have the highest level of proper jiu-jitsu. The simplest example of this is the idea of turtling when someone passes your guard in order to not give points. How is it that exposing your back, exposing yourself to the worst possible position in jiu-jitsu is better for you than side mount? Not that bottom mount no, not that bottom slide is a good position, but it's definitely better than having someone on your back. Some will argue that it's because the rules were built as if it were a real fight and that it's easier to protect yourself from turtle than it is from side Ah, moves. Bullshit. I beg to differ. (laughs) That, oh my gosh. Look at any major MMA event. MMA event, as Quip would say. Most guys (laughs) that turtle lose to striking or to having their backs taken and choked. Hell, guys like Khabib and Askren prefer when guys turtle, then they just beat the piss out of them. Holy crap, do they? Oh, yeah. Look at Khabib and McGregor. McGregor was able to defend himself much better with Khabib on top of him than when turtled. Anyways, there are plenty... You can't defend yourself when you're turtled. All you can do is literally act like a turtle. Right. Anyway, there are plenty of other examples, but I won't get into them. Or not allowing certain submissions, even though at the world-class level, these are all professional athletes. Anyway, time to move on. Next point number three. Uh, There's a lot more. Do you want to do a two-parter? We could do a two-parter. We're going to have to do a two-parter. This is amazingly long. and I think it's well-written, though. Well-written. I mean, th- like is- when it gets that long, just to let you know, I read, I read, uh, read, I read like sections i'm like hmm, interesting like i read the beginning and i read a little farther i caught the part where he described why he had such a issue with it right I went a little farther i'm like shit these are all good points <laughs> yeah could what, do a two-parter so the point i wanted to get to is is coming up and i i'll tease it a little bit which is when you're no i don't want to i don't want to tease it why well maybe okay i'll, I'll go, go ahead, ahead. Tease it. so tease it's, it a little it's, bit. it's the uh how athleticism got kind of bastardized into it because it's so much easier to get big and strong well, and, that, and, and fast. And that's what's we can't get into that today because no, that's just, just because that's yeah. huge. That's a big part of what we were kind of talking about earlier yep. where you have these wrestlers with a huge base come yep. in and they, I don't care if they dominate for that time. You should dominate through white belt, mm-hmm. honestly, till, till yeah, white and blue, yeah. white and blue, you should really dominate um, cause you have such a solid base, but you shouldn't also get, any more accolades than the guy that didn't start with that base because that guy probably knows more jujitsu than you because he's had to know because he didn't have that base. So it's all part of it. Right. And it's a big part. So we're going to talk about it a ton yeah, and we have other also few little how, things that we can go over anyway. So yeah, it, 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 that's also how I plan on beating Andrew. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. It's just by being, more more well choking? developed <laughs> muscularly <laughs> size wise it's just uh, it's just uh, in- inevitable it's gonna be fun i think so it's I'm, gonna be I'm great i'm excited yeah i'll uh, i'll post something soon it'll be awesome you want to talk about the website before we sign off well i don't think well we have some emails did you read the run from um you didn't sign steam and hannah yeah, no, these are available to you. Oh, uh, no, complaints. No they're, no, they're not. No, they're not. <laughs> My bad. Oops. I, you got to send them to me. I should. Well, I, no, I'll just sign you in. If you But anyways, it. we don't need to be talking about this. Um, but that one's kind of nice. It says something nice about crawlers on that one. Uh, um, right. It, so, so we're just going to read this one email? Yeah. Oh. Well, no, I got another one in there, too. Okay. Comments. Hey, guys. I just started listening thanks to Croilers Podcast, which, by the way, is just awesome even with the vocal fry. Huh. I just wanted to let you know that I appreciate your terrible jujitsu. I have been training in for eight years, and I am a three-stripe blue belt. Hey, you're like me. My school has changed affiliations multiple times, and it is the only school I can realistically make it to consistently. It is refreshing to hear guys that love jujitsu but don't give a shit about competing or belt levels. 
I am consistently asked about competing with the bullshit comment that if you don't compete, then you truly never know how good you are. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's the, so dumb. The reality is, I know I suck, and I just love the journey. Yeah, suck it. Keep up Asshole. the <laughs> keep up the mediocre work because I'll keep watching until something more entertaining comes along. So <laughs> I guess two or three more episodes. <laughs> Well played, sir. That was well played at well the end. Played. But yeah, man, you do you. Yeah. I mean, I just like these emails and I, I want to, some of them, okay, a lot of them, we just skip over and we respond, but we don't really get them out there. So we're trying to get more of them out there. Um, did you see this one here? Of course not, because you didn't send it to No, me. this one came to our email. So this one's, a, I think we might have quoted some stuff off of that one. Possibly. Did you read that one? I love doing this live. Uh, boy, that's long. Yeah, we don't have to do that. No, one. we're not doing this one. Maybe. Uh, I think next time, though. Joe. Yeah, we yeah we did we did yeah we did didn't we yeah I yeah, thought so yeah. okay just making sure. Um, but no, we get awesome messages from you guys, and I wanted to read some of them. Well, at least one. There's there's others, but they're even shorter. Yeah, but we appreciate it. We love getting the emails and messages. I love seeing either, it go off. Either yeah. either questions or just hey, how's it going in, in your life? It it means a lot to us. It's really cool. It, it, humbling if you will yeah it's crazy that uh you you guys kind of depend on us for a weekly release <laughs> <laughs> well it's funny you're uh you go on a vacation i am so i told my kids hey i gotta do a podcast tonight because you know kept going she, and my daughter's like why can't you just skip it uh, that's not an option we don't any, do that's that. not an option anymore no. <laughs> that shit that ship sailed <laughs> well that's the thing dude like you guys no sick days no you guys are important to us uh paul's been rip roaring sick for this before Oh God! Oh, you can you can shit. hear him on the episode where I'm like, I just he's fine. He's totally fine. Totally fine. <laughs> and it's like terrible. We're still here for you guys, and and to have you guys send us stuff back, and to realize we are helping out, uh, it means a lot to us. And we've done this heartfelt thing a few times, but it really does mean a lot. Um, we did get one more review, so we moved off of the fifty three. Yay! Um, hey fuckers, I need more than one. There's so many of you out there. I know how many there are. I can see you. <laughs> Just right. Remember that. I can see you. <laughs> we we literally you know, we can see him as you're listening. Yeah, take, take, yeah, take yeah. all day. Yeah, yeah. It's so fun. I can see you. And uh, but yeah, just if you guys have questions, you want to be just part of the Grappling Dads crew, just freaking reach out. I mean, that was Stevens was just basically saying, "Hey, I'm a dipshit like you." Perfect. Yeah, we yeah. love we love to know you're out there. Um, we have a new shop coming open. Uh, pretty shortly on our website. Nathan is also working right. on that. Um, we are still working on getting uh, some extras for the Patreons on the Patreon page. Um, I've actually worked on looking at patches and also hats. Oh, nice. um, that'll be part of that. Um, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, you'll have to check out the website periodically. This is, this is way easier with somebody that knows what the hell they're doing. I love having Nathan. He is my hero. My like, wife is now friends with him on Facebook. Excellent. excellent. Um, because she goes, I'm a creep out and just friend him. And I'm like, perfect. She, the funny thing is she goes, do you think he'll know? Should I tell him, you know, I'm your wife? I'm like, who else would you fucking be with the last same last name as me? It's Thank di- you. it's. It's he does jujitsu. You think he can figure it out? Yeah, it's <laughs> dice. I think you're wearing a gi in the fucking photo. I'm like, I'm pretty sure you can figure out who you are. My on my about you, that asshole added in journey and path into the bottom of it. Oh, did you see that little fucker? Nice, nice way to go. No, no, that's great. No, he doesn't he have that kind of free reign. He gets it. Yeah, he does. He's kind of a bastard. Yeah, funsies. Uh, but uh, also, there's a little little. I think it's on the right hand side on the bottom. If you ever want help from him and. Uh, you know, he does a great website. I love it. It's coming a long ways. You can click this little button that says reach out to the webmaster, I think is what it is. Oh, really? And so you can find that little bastard. <laughs> so if you guys want help, um, go ahead and reach out to him. He, I don't think he wanted us to say that because that's just not his shit. My wife reached out to him. He's like, I just like to find, he goes, I just like to find two guys that, you know, two people that really like what I'm, you know, in something I'm interested in and I wanted to help out. He's helping out more than fucking I would yeah, ever I, expect. Uh, yeah, one of those. I'm speechless. Just Un- unreal, absolutely, uh, absolutely dumbfounded. Unreal. So, and uh, but if you want to reach out to him, hey Al, that's how you catch up to him. <laughs> it's on the bottom. Just go get him. And uh, yeah, but he's actually part of the administration on the Facebook page. He's he's become a very rapid part of our team, and I just wanted to also say thanks for that. He's and, one of those kind of guys that just makes me feel really stupid and inadequate. 
But I he can... doesn't try to. That's the bad part. No, 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 no. <laughs> he's not going. He's like, look how smart I am. No, no. I just feel like I've wasted my life because I can do nothing. A little bit. But I can uh, make parts for cars I ha- can't afford to buy. It's great. Yeah. I think we could afford it if we added yours, mine, and my wife's income. Maybe. I My... F- we would have to sell our homes. The kind of car, <laughs> the kind of car that these parts go in, costs more than my first house at seventy two thousand. Yeah, I know that's fucking <laughs> crazy. But uh, yeah, guys, we're just like you. Um, we struggle every day to get on the mats. I especially, um, just being as injured as I am right yeah. now, uh, and I'm also going through some bullshit with a, uh, you know, anger management, <laughs> having a few issues. Uh, but uh, yeah, I get it. So if you guys ever have questions, anything concerns you're having some issues yeah let us know man yeah everybody it doesn't got have their to be own, on air by the way you know everybody's got their their own demons like kip said he's got he's got some issues going on right now with his body and his and his head and he's, he's working through that yeah and, and just yeah i mean we're everybody everybody has their their thing just jujitsu kind of helps it helps kip it helps therapy, people man. like kip that's part of the reason i'm having yeah. other issues is because i, I yeah. don't have jujitsu like i did it's my therapy it really is, and I think it's a therapy for a lot of people. And yeah, so we get it. Like, like uh, the last the last email we just got. Like, he does it because I assume it's it's his therapy. He likes it. He just likes to fiddle fuck around on the mat and learn some stuff. He doesn't care about belts and rank and being better than anybody else. How no. do you know how good you really are? He's how like, many points can I get for this advantage? Yeah, he's like, I don't fucking care how really good I am. No. I'm having fun rolling with my buddies, and that's good enough for me. So, I, yeah, do this. Uh, just enjoy that, and that's good, man. Yeah, but if you want to do, do a thing. competition, awesome, do it up. Yeah, we, but, yeah. We, we we don't judge. <laughs> no, I think competitions are spectacular if they were ran better, but that's just me. Um, Monday morning, Monday morning quarterback right here. Oh, we, we I can do Monday everything right. Quarterback the shit <laughs> out of I can do those everything things. if it was, you know, a day late. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, no, uh, reach out to us, the dads, grapplingdads.com. Uh, also on Facebook, you know, like us, follow us, share us. Instagram, uh, Instagram, definitely check it out on there. We want, we'll do something special. When we win a, when we hit a thousand followers on there, and I'm telling you right now, we do it the real way. We don't do it the bullshit way that 99 percent of people on Instagram. Instagram oh yeah, do. when you see somebody with a 40 thousand followers and they have a it, jiu-jitsu podcast, chances are good. Chances They've are been good. doing it for a bo- decade, yeah. or they bought some of that shit. Exactly. Or yeah, they did. I mean, there's all kinds of things, guys. We didn't. So you may see, oh, you only have 700 and 800 followers. They're all real fucking people. Yeah, yeah that like our stuff. Yeah, yeah that not. like what we do. So, so we're proud of that. Um, and come follow, check it out. We're gonna we post a bunch of funny bullshit. And uh, yeah, you can see our faces. Sorry. Yeah, my bad. Sorry, but uh, Paul probably I'll, needs to go to bed. I'll post pictures of my boobs next. It'll be great. No, no, no that's I'll, probably I'll, a good point. I probably you know. shouldn't do that. I'm erasing that shit. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, you guys have anything? Let us know. I gotta go to bed. Bye. Bye.